guys, today I'm going to be doing my October favorites. I'm really sorry I haven't posted a video in the past couple weeks. Um, I've just been really busy, but I'm not going to bore you with details because I feel like I would just be making up excuses. But I do have some stuff that I really wanted to share with you guys because a lot of it is new stuff. And so yeah, um, I hope that kind of makes up for the lack of videos because um, yeah, I'm really excited about everything that I'm about to show you. And a lot of it is drugstore. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to start with skincare. I am doing my skincare video. I promise it's coming. Um, it's like my next video that I haven't planned to film. Um, but I wanted to mention this because this has really saved my skin a lot. These two products I'm about to show you have really saved my skin a lot this past couple months because for some reason I've just been having really bad breakouts. And if you guys have been watching me for a while, you know I've kind of struggled with acne for a while. Um, and I don't really know what the cause of it is. I feel like maybe it's just my age, but um, this is the Clean Clear Continuous Control Acne Cleanser with 10% benzoyl peroxide. And I've had really, really, really good luck with Clean Clear. Like I've always had a pretty good experience with their brand. Um, and I use, I've used the exfoliation like one of this. This is their, I don't know the exact name of it. I think it's like a three in one something but it's the one with um, little exfoliation beads and it's it's for daily use as well but I decided to get this one because this one has five or this one has 10% and that one has like 2.5% so I decided to get this one because it has more and I really like this um, it has like a very minty feeling on your face and it just I can tell is really helping fight my acne um, a little bit better than that one so I really love this and totally recommend it if you have acne I think that this is a great product and like I said before, I like benzoyl peroxide much better than salicylic acid. Um, it just helps fight my acne a lot better. So, And then the other product is also by Clean & Clear and this is their Persa Gel 10 which also has 10% benzoyl peroxide. Um, and basically what you do with this is you put it all over the area that you're breaking out on. Um, I was having like a lot of breakouts in my chin and then just recently I started getting one like right here on my cheek. So I've been putting it kind of in those areas and this is awesome. I can tell a huge difference when I put this on and when I wake up in the morning, like it's it's gone down a lot. So I really, really recommend this stuff. Um, it will dry your skin out a little bit, so make sure you have like a really good moisturizer and that you're applying your moisturizer um, like I'd say five minutes after you put this on. Um, like let this dry and then put your moisturizer on because if you don't, it's going to dry out your skin a lot. And then your skin might be acne free, but you're going to have like peeling, scaly skin. So um, yeah, you definitely have to like do both or you won't like the results. But um, I love this. It's amazing. And both of these together have helped my skin a lot um, the past month, month and a half. Okay, for makeup, um, I got the Tarte blush set that comes with like four of their little mini blushes. I just got this like a week and a half ago. Um, and it's like $35 and you get four shades. Um, I'll put the link down to like the Sephora link if you want to see which ones it comes with. But this one has been my favorite um, from the pack and it's their color Fantastic. And I'm pretty sure all of these colors are new to the line. Like it's just in this set, which Tarte does a lot for some reason. Um, they'll put like a set together, but it'll be all new colors. So this is just a really bright kind of baby pink. Um, and I've been wearing this every day since I got it, and I really, really love it. I think it's a really pretty pink. Um, and these are nice because they do last a while. I don't know if they last 12 hours, but they do last a pretty long time. So, yeah. And I love the tart blushes. I have the one exposed, and I love it. So I definitely recommend this line. And I think that's a really good deal for getting four, like, I think they're only half size. And one full price, I think, is like 20 or 25 so that's a pretty good deal. So I was thinking back um, about this product and if I've, I've ever mentioned it in a video, and I don't think I have. And if I have, I don't remember. Um, and I might have, I think I've used it in like showing you guys how I do my foundation. I think I've showed it, but I don't think I've actually really talked about it. Um, and this is the Mineral Primer Veil from Hourglass. And I went through, I think, about two or three of these. This is my, th I'm pretty sure it's my third one. And I just buy the little ones. Um, they're $17. It's ex it's extremely expensive, I know. Um, and like the big one is like $53. So I just get like a little baby one. Um, but this actually lasts me a pretty long time because you really only need like half a pump of this. Um, and it's like my favorite primer. I love it. It's just makes my makeup stay put like all night long and it just makes sure like your pores look a lot better and um, it's just an amazing primer so I definitely recommend this and then right now they're having like this set where they put this one and their um, new one which is their primer serum in a little kit and it's just like a little baby one um, for 24 or 25 I think so I went ahead and bought that and I really really like this one I think this one is a little bit more expensive 
Um, but it's really, really good, I noticed, for dry skin. It's kind of like a weird consistency, like, I can't really describe it. It almost feels like you're putting oil on your skin, which is really weird. Uh, but it works, and like, it's really, really nice. Like, I noticed my foundation just applies so amazing after I put this on. So, I really love these both and recommend them if you're looking for a good primer. Um, they are expensive, but I think a primer is like... A really big staple at least for me I know not everybody needs one um, and some people don't even notice if they don't have one on but I can notice um, so yeah I like those a lot okay for lip products I have um, four to talk about this month uh, these two are from the same line I've talked about these before these are the Revlon um, just been kissable balm stains I don't know what is with drugstores and making like a product have ten names but anyways um, I really really love these I have talked about these before. I, my favorite, all-time favorite one is the color Lovesick. And if you look at these actually all together, they look like they're the exact same shade, which is kind of funny. Um, but yeah, I love Lovesick. And a lot of you guys recommended for me to get uh, Sweetheart, what I, which I went out and got. And this is, um, I thought that these were going to, Lovesick and this one were going to be really similar. Because when I Google swatched them, um, they looked very similar. But they're definitely not. This is definitely like a more watermelon, lighter pink. Um, but they're both very pigmented, don't get me wrong. So yeah, I love this one, but I've noticed I haven't been wearing this one as much because I think it's just more of a spring, summer kind of color, but I know I'll definitely get a ton of wear of this when, um, the weather does get warmer. Um, but this one I picked up, which is called Smitten, is gorgeous. And basically, it's a notch up from Lovesick, if you guys can tell. So this is Lovesick, and I was wearing this one like all summer. I wore it like every day practically. I was just in love with this color. It just was like such a pretty pop of pink and it almost looked natural. Like I can't describe it. It was just so pretty. Um, and so this one's almost just a step up from it and it's just perfect for fall. So I'll try to swatch them for you guys so you guys can see them next to each other. But I have Smitten on right now and I have a lip gloss over top of it which I'm about to talk about. But um, so that one is Lovesick. And that one is smitten. So as you can tell, they are pretty similar. Um, but I, I can tell on the lips that this one just comes off just a little bit darker. So yeah, so if you're looking for a really good fall color, I definitely recommend this one. Um, I love this whole line. I've talked about that a million times. Um, but this color in particular, I love. And I'm more of a pink like lip person um, more than like reds. I just find pinks are more flattering on my skin tone um, than reds. So this is a perfect like dark pink for fall. I love it. And the lip glosses that I want to talk about, um, this one is Philosophy Sparkling Cranberry, which I got from Nordstrom Rack for $7. Um, if you're wondering, it's they're a little bit discounted. And it's just a really pretty sparkly red color. It's really, really pretty on the lips, and it's especially pretty over top of Smitten. They look gorgeous together. Um, and this is a New York City Kiss Gloss um, in the color Way Berry. And um, these are really similar. This one just doesn't have any shimmer. And I'd say maybe it's a little bit lighter. I'm wearing this one right now on top of Spitten, and they're both just really nice. You probably don't need both of them, but if you're looking for like a cranberry lip gloss, these are really nice. And they are a little bit more sheer, um, but they're perfect for topping over top of my lip stains. So, yeah, just two more favorites. Um, this is a concealer by Rimmel that I've been loving. It's their two-in-one concealer and highlighter in the color Fair Light. And I needed a new under eye concealer because I had been using the mineral one from Maybelline, which is discontinued, and I was running out of it. So I decided to pick this one up because I've had I've been having really good luck with their whole Rimmel line. Um, you guys know I love their clean finish foundation. It's amazing if you're looking for a good drugstore foundation definitely recommend this one. Um, so I went ahead and tried their concealer and I really like it. Um, yeah, I don't, there's not much to say about it. It just really brightens your under eyes and is good at concealing. So I like that. Okay, my last favorite is the Crest 3D White Strips. Um, I just kind of picked these up one day because I, I don't know, I noticed that my teeth were looking a little bit dull and not as white as I would like them to, which I mean happens. Um, and I had been using the Plus White 5 Minute Speed Whitening Gel. I've used this stuff forever. My mom always used it and I don't know, I've just been using it forever and I do really like this stuff. But I think the problem with this is that it doesn't like stay on your teeth very well. I, I always like notice that it's just kind of like sliding off, I feel like. Um, I know they come with trays. I haven't actually got the kit. Well, I did get the kit one time that came with the tray and it didn't come with the tray, which was really annoying. Um, so maybe I should try it with the tray and I, I've had better results. But um, 
Anyways, I do like this, but I went ahead and picked up the Crest ones because I had used these like a long time ago and had like pretty good results with them. Um, so I just got the, like the second power. They have like one through five and that kind of like tells you how strong they're going to be. And I have pretty sensitive gums, so I decided to go with the second one. Um, and so you leave them on, it comes with 10 little packs and you leave them on for 30 minutes if, you, if you've never done these before. Um, and yeah, it was $25, but I think that it was really worth it because I noticed my teeth looking a lot whiter and other people noticed it, which is always great when you have other people, you know, notice it. So I really like these, um, and yeah, they're just really good. And I like this too, um, I just kind of noticed that I was, ha like, I noticed, I don't know, a little bit of a bigger difference with this, I'd say. Um, but they're both really, really good products. Okay, so those are all my favorites. I'm gonna go ahead and just talk about my two, like, fails or not favorites, um, that I had this last month. This is the, um, uh, Maybelline Dream Lumi Touch, um, Camouflage, no, I guess it's just Dream Lumi Touch, okay, sorry. Um, and I got this because I thought I'd heard, like, good things about it on YouTube, and there's actually, I think it's Revlon or, uh, another brand makes the same thing that's called, like, it has the Lumi in the name, but it's, like, a lot more expensive. I think it was, like, twice the price of this one. This one was, like, 7 and that one was, like, 12 or 13 So I picked up this one and I, like, thought it was doing a good job at concealing my under eyes until I took a picture and, like, my, my under eyes just look so dark in the picture and, like, I had bags and, and I don't normally, like, have bags. So that was just, like, really weird and I was just, like okay, I don't think I like this. Um, and so I tried, like, my, I went back to my mineral concealer by Maybelline that I just ran out of. Um, and I just, it, I didn't have that problem anymore. So I think it was this, and it just wasn't doing that great of a job at concealing my under eyes. So I definitely don't recommend this, but I know that some people, like, really like this, so I'm not really sure. Like, I don't really suffer from bags. I suffer from, like, I suffer. I act like I'm having a disease. Um, <laughs> I just have, like, a problem with dark under eyes, like, like, blue tint, um, which a lot of people have, and I don't know, I felt like this didn't really do a good job at camouflaging it and almost made it appear worse, so, um, yeah, I don't recommend this. And the other product is this Marc Anthony Easy Light. Uh, my mom actually picked this up, and I wanted to mention it because I tried it, and she tried it, and she also didn't like it. Basically, what you do is you spray this on dry hair, and then you're supposed to take your flat iron immediately after, um, and go over it and it's supposed to like give you natural highlights um, and yeah I don't I don't know what they were really thinking like spraying something wet onto your hair and then going over it with heat but it just fries your hair and like I already knew that was coming but my mom did it and so she did it and she like um, was really upset because she had like some breakage and stuff at her roots because of it um, and so yeah, so I tried it just like on the ends of my hair just to see if it would still give me a highlight. Um, but pretty much knowing in the back of my mind that it was going to damage my hair. And it didn't even really give me any highlights. So I just think this is like a really fail product. I don't understand like the, the whole thing behind it. I think that it's, I don't know, kind of gimmicky and a little bit stupid. So yeah, if you guys have tried this, let me know. Um, or if you have, if there's any other like products out there like this that maybe work a little better. Um... And don't, like, damage your hair. Like, you're already damaging your hair by putting bleach on your hair to highlight. So I don't know why you would do it when it's wet. I don't know if this actually has bleach in it. Um, I would assume it does. Um, but anyways. So, yeah. And then, like, my last favorite is um, an app. And I've talked about this app before, but it's Instagram. Um, a lot of you guys follow me on there already. But I just thought I would mention it in case you don't. Because I've just been really getting into it. I mean, I've always like been into Instagram but recently like I don't know it's just like really fun like editing your pictures and um I don't know I like doing a lot of nail pictures on there so if you're into that I put a lot of those on there and I also I mean this isn't like my just YouTube Instagram this is my personal Instagram too so I have like friends and stuff that follow me as well friends and family so um I post pictures that aren't always just related to YouTube like I post pictures of my life so if you're more interested in that um, you can check it out, but, like, I also post pictures of nails and stuff like that. So if you are interested in nails or anything about my life, then you should check out my Instagram. Um, it's AmandaF10, and I'll put that down below. So I think that's about it. I hope you guys liked this video. If you have a recent favorites, um, you should be responsive. And I think that's about it. So I will see you guys in my next video, which will be soon, I promise. <laughs> Bye.
This is more than a typical kind of thing. Felt the Jones in my bones when you.